folks, Keith Bowen here, and this is Hard Rock University. Now we did our Nevada Prospect one trip, sent off a bunch of samples for assay, we had the results, and now I'm doing my promised follow-up on that. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, it may not make any sense where these things came from, but I'll kind of explain it as I go. First of all, I get results reported in parts per million to me. I grew up with ounces per ton, so I created a separate column there for those of us who know ounces per ton. And then here is in dollars per ton. Now dollars per ton is what's real important because your costs are in dollars. Your profits are in dollars. So that's what used to be reported when the price of gold was very steady when it was twenty dollars an ounce for like fifty years they just reported it in dollars per ton same with the thirty five dollar a ton price once they floated it in the late seventies then people started reporting more in ounces per ton anyhow starting at the stuff that's not very good uh, farther away from the central point wash shaft one now that was that shaft down by the wash. Uh, I showed it from a, uh, a mountaintop. And I didn't really see anything there to get interested in. I didn't know if they were exploring or maybe trying to dig a well. Simply didn't know. But it certainly came out crap. 0.03 ounces per ton? No, 0.03 parts per million. Go to my website and you can see the conversion factors. Uh, chart multiply by 0 0.029 to get ounces per ton and 0 0.0009 ounces per ton or dollar twenty per ton. No, that's not over. The second sample, 0.24 parts per million, 007 ounces per ton, nine dollars and twenty-nine cents. Now that's not even good for an open pit heap leach big mine. I mean, that would be in the protor to waste range. So, that's not very good either. It appears they were just digging a well. I don't know. Anyhow, at the top of the hill. Now, this mine was clearly following a vein. It had significant stoping. There was an ore bin there. They built a road up to it. So, this was significant. I expected to find something here. And I was not disappointed. 4.14 parts per million, 0.12, a little better than a tenth of an ounce a ton, eighth of an ounce to the ton, very nice. $160 a ton. Now that's really profitable if you're doing an open pit heap leach, or even if you've got a fairly high throughput, low cost uh, mill. I mean, if you're putting, you know, 10 tons an hour, 20 tons an hour, uh, and can keep your costs low. This kind of ore can make you some money. It's not what we're looking for right now. Top of hill 2. 0 0.89, 0 0.0258, $34 a ton. That can make you money with a big open pit heap leaves. Giant throughputs, you know, in measured in tens of thousands of tons per day. Very low cost, which you can get away with an open pit heap leach if the permitting doesn't kill you. Now, remember I said in the video that we had a very unusual opportunity here. They were actually mining the rock, crushing it, and then stockpiling it. And we could take samples of the stockpiles. I also said you will generally find enrichment the finer the material, because it's just crushed and screened. And that's exactly what we found. 0.1 parts per million in the eighth inch minus. The 0 0.0029, $3.87 a ton. Not ore grade, not even for an open pit heap leach. But notice the half inch minus is a third of that. This is why it's very important to look at the wall rock and also in your vein rock. Whatever you think is ore, crush it and screen it. That's a three to one concentration. That's not bad for a simple screening. So, this demonstrates the probability that there was an upgrade in the finer material. 
but neither one of them is worth a crap in terms of actually making money, even at giant scales. If they were, then you might look at leasing the property or something like that. But in this case, out of luck. The east dog hole that was up on top of the hill above the stopes and a different hill. <laughs> Not the hill over there, the hill where I was taking the video from. And there was two little dog holes. And the east dog hole, I can see why they dug it. You know, these aren't bad numbers. Not great numbers though. West dog hole, even better numbers. Quarter of an ounce to the ton, not bad. Too small or whatever, it wasn't in there. Um, you know, they never got around to it, shut down because they were stoping the other thing and it was just another mineralized zone they'd found, but they never got around to digging it in any substantial manner whatsoever. Now this green vein, this was in the stoped area that I was in. The one that had the two stopes with the tunnel connecting it. And Jason knows there's this greenish colored vein going down the middle of the mineralized zone. So I sampled that separately. Always sample every type of uh, mineralized structure separately. 4.35 parts per million, 0.12, not bad. $168 a ton. Again, if you had a lot of this and you can move a fair tonnage at a reasonable cost, this is in potential ore grade. Now, at the bottom of the first stope where it turned into a tunnel, that's where I took this sample, $1.44, $55 a ton. Yeah, open pit heap leach, you can make money at that if you can keep your cost down. Underground, Pretty much out of luck. In case I just jumped around, it's because the camera glitched. Now, where was I? Oh yes. Down here to the middle of the tunnel sample. Between both stopes was a tunnel, and right in the middle of that I took another sample of the mineralized structure. And 0 0.65, 0 0.0188, $25 a ton. Now this is the kind of grade that if you had an operating open pit heap leach and fairly low cost, this would probably be in the ore grade because you've already got to move it anyway. This is not generally what you would mine if that's all you were going to get and you had to move any waste to get it. But you might be able to make a little profit at this if you have a big open pit heap leach running anyway. Begin stope two. Now this was at the beginning of the second stope, and it's running $96 a ton, a 0.07 ounces per ton. Again, you know, if you got an open pit mine, it'd be tough to run that through a mill and still make money, but you might. It'd have to be a pretty low cost mill. And then at the far end of stope two, only $31 a ton. That's open pit heap leach. That's not underground. So, there's the numbers there. Um, nothing exciting, nothing that met our criteria. Um, so, we've walked away from this. Um, well, we left everybody happy, so if he runs into something else, then he may very well come and talk to us again. Always try and leave everybody happy, because you never know what kind of opportunities it'll make for you in the future. Unfortunately, on our next trip, Arizona Prospect 1, things didn't work out quite that well. There were some misunderstandings, created some hard feelings, and I will go into that in my next video so that you don't make the same mistakes that happened there. Um, but, nothing we found there was terribly exciting anyway, but uh, I never like leaving somebody with a bad taste in their mouth. So, we'll go over that on the next video. And as for this one here, nothing exciting, but there is gold. Just not in sufficient tonnages. These are all fairly narrow veins, a few feet wide. Those kind of, ton of grades, you'd really want something, you know, 10 feet wide, 20 feet wide, something like that, where you can really mine some bulk tonnage. You know, or preferably a whole mountain of it. 
but that's not what we had therefore it uh, doesn't meet our criteria and we've moved on. Happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.